We've got action at Tritlagasa. Anna, get on it. Good morning to you too, Sven. What's going on? The police have caught some smugglers. Get me the details. Contraband? Any idea what's being moved? The only moving you should be concerned about is you moving there. What's happening over here? Miss Myers, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share this information. I'd ask, Uli, but I don't see him around. It can't be that big of a deal, can it? Indeed it can't, ma'am. Just some smugglers. The neighbors reported suspicious behavior. People sneaking around. I caught one of them. He's on his way to the police station now. Oh. Well, Nua, that's good news. What were they trying to smuggle? Well, actually, my colleagues caught him. Just some alcohol, I reckon. You reckon? Yes. I'm a pretty astute observer. There may be something to this. Thanks. I'll snap a few photos and be on my way. Make sure I look great for the front page. Looks like they were loading the contraband from the backyard into the truck. I should take a closer look. This must be where they store their goods. I found Benzedream. So here's what this is all about. Have you found something? An inhaler? It's not just an inhaler. Benzedream is an amphetamine, a central nervous system stimulant. So, like a narcotic drug? Exactly. I'll need to photograph this. I'll take it from here. I'll take it from here. Ernestine, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Miss Myers, I... You don't look well. Did something happen? I've just found that Dr. Brunner, dear Lord. He was such a great man. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Miss Myers, maybe you could come with me. Take a look at the scene. We haven't had the most competent officers lately. Your help would be much appreciated. You're being unfair. Lieutenant Uli Reiter knows what he's doing. But I'd certainly be willing to help you out. I'll swing by the hospital later today. I need to finish an assignment beforehand. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Myers. Time to get back to the office now.
Time to write the article. The draft article is finished. Time to pick a photo. Which one should I go with? Great. Let's see if Sven's in so I can show him the article. Got the article? So what's all the noise about the Trittlgasse? Benzedrine inhalers? Hmm. Well, that's a large amount. You got any idea what they want them for? I believe the government is looking to make this substance illegal. Someone could be stockpiling them for profit once they're off the market. As of right now, it's just an inhaler. Well, yes, but... Anything else noteworthy? The police caught one of the smugglers, but I haven't had the chance to talk to him. And their truck had German license plates. They might have been planning to move their cargo to Germany. All right, that'll do. Well done. I should call Uli to find out more about what happened at the hospital. Uli Leifter speaking. It's Anna. Something went down at the hospital. You're on the case, I believe. What? How do you... There is no case. It was an accident. I promised one of the nurses I'd look into it, if that's all right with you. Ah, fine. But let me make one thing crystal clear. Yes, Uli? I am not one of your buddies who do whatever you tell them to do. Understood, Uli. Very well. I'll see you there, then. Perfect. Anna, you came. I'm so glad. This way, please, into the laboratory. The police are insisting that it was an accident. But Dr. Brunner was always extremely careful. Anna, come in. I'll show you around. Karl Brunner, found dead in the storage room. He suffocated to death. The door slammed shut on him, trapping him inside. It didn't take long. The room is pretty small and doesn't have any ventilation. An unfortunate accident. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Isn't that against the rules? I mean, bringing a journalist to a crime scene, <laughs> you know. It's nothing personal, Miss... Anna Myers. You must be Ralph Zax. Pleasure to meet you. Have we met before? Not in person, no. I read an article about you in Science Universe. Anna has already proved herself to be a reliable person. Dr. Zax was Brunner's partner. I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor. Now that we're acquainted, let's take a look around.
Great. I found a skull. A fellow of infinite jest. May I? We'd often use it to hold the door open. Any idea why Carl didn't use it this time? People are more forgetful when they're in a hurry or focused on something. It's also possible that Dr. Brunner put the skull in place to hold the door, but somebody could have kicked it out of place, thus trapping the doctor. How cruel. Why would someone want to do that? Do you know if there's anybody who benefits from Dr. Brunner's death? No. He was the kindest man I have ever known. We also found a death note inside. Take a look. This is the end. There is no need to look into the circumstances. Karl Brunner. What an unusual death note. In what way? There's no explanation. Furthermore, he's instructing us not to look into the matter. And why does it start with a lowercase t? It almost seems cryptic. Dirk has already confirmed that it's Karl Brunner's handwriting. Can we take a look at the body? It's over there. Pen must be what he wrote the note with. He had a light with him. These scratches look fresh. They must have been made by Dr. Brunner. Great, I found a lockbox. Uli, this lockbox has scratches on it. Let's have Dirk examine it. All right. The death note is a torn page. Do we know where it was ripped from? Not yet, no. We should find out. Might explain why the note is so strange. Was this laboratory his permanent workspace? We were doing all our research here, but we also have an office. Let me take you there. Miss Myers, please, right over here. What were you and your partner working on? Creating a vaccine for poliomyelitis. Our ambitious goal to eradicate the disease was starting to appear feasible. I hope you achieve your noble goal soon. The vaccine is almost complete, within arm's reach. However, after this grim turn of events, the whole project is in peril. I am uncertain whether I'm capable of finishing it by myself. Keep at it, Doctor. Many lives are at stake. I will do my best, thank you. This is his desk. The mug is full. Must have been in a rush. We're excited that you're considering a permanent position with us. As the largest hospital in Europe, we're in a position to offer you the best working conditions for your projects. Was Dr. Brunner tempted to change jobs? This information differs from what Dr. Zucks said. All his writing is in blue ink. This might take a while, and I imagine you've got matters to attend to. I do. I'm going to have to make some tough decisions. I'd better start piecing things back together before the whole project goes belly up. Stay here for as long as you need. I'll be on my way now. Thanks for everything. We'll get to the bottom of this.
Wait, I found a blueprint. What is this strange apparatus? Maybe Dr. Zucks could enlighten me. Ernestine, where can I find Dr. Zucks? He is bit of patient at the moment upstairs. All of Dr. Brunner's patients have been transferred to him for the time being, so he has plenty of work. Think I could talk to any of them? Of course. You should start with Caroline. Dr. Brunner spent a lot of time with her. Oh, and make sure you grab a surgical mask before you go upstairs. I found a mask. Doctor, sorry to bother you. I meant to ask. Now is a bad time, Miss Myers. Caroline, try to relax. Damn it. Miss Myers, some help. I need leg braces, quick. Hurry up, pass me the leg braces. I found leg braces. There you go. Put them over here. If you could, please use the ankle straps to restrain her. One more thing. Please call Ernestine and tell her to grab an adrenaline shot. I'm on it. Dr. Zox needs you to bring him a syringe of adrenaline right now. One of the patients is in critical condition. There's some adrenaline in the office. Let's move. I get the adrenaline. You grab a syringe from the cupboard.
I found a syringe. Got it? Yes. Let's run upstairs now. We've got the adrenaline. Anna, syringe. Nurse, hold her down. Miss, some assistance. We've got this. Just a little longer. Everything's okay. Do you think I'll be able to talk to the patient anytime soon? It's hard to tell. But definitely not right now. I'm sorry you've had to witness this, Miss Myers. That's okay. Glad I could help. Speaking of help, could you tell me what this blueprint is of? That's an iron lung. Carl was working on it. It's a ventilator that encloses a patient and stimulates breathing by varying the pressure inside. So, essentially, it's a device that breathes for you? Correct. Except Carl couldn't get it to work, and he hadn't made any progress with it in quite a while. It was a distraction from working on the vaccine more than anything else. I see. Is there anything else? I'm quite tight on time, unfortunately. No problem, Doctor. I've kept you long enough. Miss Myers! Miss Myers, wait! I didn't have a chance to thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'd be delighted to have you come over this evening. I'd love to. Splendid. I'll see you later. Looks like the police already cleared out. There are a couple of things I need to discuss with Uli. I should head off to the police station, in that case. Anna, we were just about to close the case. Everything's conclusive. It was an unfortunate accident. I'm closing it as soon as Dirk fills out his part of the paperwork. I... Anna, there is nothing else to look into. We've got to draw the line somewhere. I understand. I'd like to have a word with Dirk. Is he down there? Yes, I'll be with you shortly. Dirk, how can I help you? We don't have much time left. Looks like you already met with Uli. Yes. And I can't say I'm surprised. So there's no time to waste. I'm still working on the fingerprints. Did you manage to open the scratched-up lockbox Uli brought earlier? I didn't. Well, where is it? In this cabinet. The key should be around there somewhere. Okay. Keep working on those fingerprints. I've got it. I found a key. Got it.
Now for the fun part. That was easier than expected. Any progress? I've just cracked the lockbox, and we were about to see what's inside. <gasps> I don't understand. Me neither. Why would Dr. Brunner scratch an empty box? Maybe he was alluding to something that should have been there. Maybe somebody cleared it out before we got to the hospital. Or maybe the scratches have nothing to do with the case and were made prior to the accident. In any case, it's not enough for us to proceed with the investigation. Something is off with this accident. Uli, you see it too, don't you? The skull, the full mug of coffee, this scratched, empty lockbox. There are too many strange details to write them all off as pure chance. If you look close enough, everything becomes strange. You're losing perspective. If you'd excuse me, I've got something. What is it? As you may know, paper is a fibrous material. It absorbs oils really well. It's near impossible to get rid of it, even right after light contact. You can try to do so with rubber or a bit of water, but I think it's still possible to trace. What exactly did you find? Is it a fingerprint on one of the papers? Yes. No. Well, not exactly. It's what I didn't find. The death note is absolutely clean. There's no trace of skin oils whatsoever. Are you absolutely certain there's no trace? I double-checked. He could have been wearing gloves. Correct, except there were no gloves at the scene. Is Dr. Bruner's pen here? Yes, it's among the rest of the evidence. I found a pen. As I thought, the ink is blue. What's the matter? There. Check the ink color. The death note was written in black. Dr. Bruner always used this pen. All his writing was in blue. I skimmed through a stack of papers in his office. 
He never used black ink, not even once. Dirk, we'll need you to redo the glyphology analysis on the note. All right. I guess the case is still open? Yes, this is reason enough for us to explore these possibilities. We're not closing the case. Yet. Good. I have to run now. I promised a friend I'd pay her a visit. Welcome to my home. Sorry I'm late. I've convinced the police to keep the case open. They're still implying it was an accident, aren't they? Such nonsense. Could I offer you some coffee? Tea? Don't trouble yourself. I'll fix some myself. like you live here alone I don't both my husband and my daughter are out working I'm sorry about that Charles isn't very welcoming and prefers to hide from the public I know exactly what you mean you have to try one of these homemade biscuits Georgette is a great baker mm, delicious thank you I was meaning to ask you about dr. Zox and dr. Bruna what was their relationship like how can I put it Manipulative? Yes, manipulative. That'd be the best for it. Dr. Bruno was all about helping people. He was exceptional at that. The patient's well-being and progress in the medical field were his singular goals. Dr. Zox seems to be more arrogant. Exactly. He's self-centered. Much more drawn by the money and the respect aspects of his career. I think... He used Dr. Brunner. In what way? It'd be better if you saw it for yourself. Read the article in the latest issue of Science Universe. There's one over there. Please, don't stand up. I'll get it. I found a magazine. I intend to combat polio with my new vaccine. Wait a second, aren't both of them supposed to be the inventors? I can assure you Dr. Bruna did most of the work, if not all of it. This is important. I'll look into it. It's getting late. Thank you for the warm welcome, Ernestine. I'll keep you informed about the case. Oh, think nothing of it, Anna. Glad to have you over. Anna Myers speaking. Uli here. We should head to the hospital. Are you available right now? Yes. I Morning, Anna. I've got an urgent assignment. There's a man perched on the building on the fourth floor. I need you there as soon as possible. I'm pretty busy right now. Could you take it up with Matt, please? 
He's more than capable of taking photos of this suicidal guy. What suicide? One minute. Not a single minute to waste. Go, right now. Uli, you'll have to go on without me. I'll join you as soon as I can. Wait, Anna, don't hang up. What's this about the suicide? Where is the man perched on the building? The boulevard. Get a couple of interviews while you're at it. Yeah, yeah. Police sure are taking their time. Not a single officer in sight. Excuse me, has anyone called the police? Some guy went to do it. The crowd is here mostly for entertainment, though. Oh my! Isn't that Michael Stuck? Great. Just what we needed, that clown. Okay, let's get this over with. First, some photos. One more. Wait a minute. I can't hear what he's saying. He threw something. I found a torn passport. A German passport? What's going on? Oh, come on. I've seen enough. Back to the office. Time to write the article. Article done. I'll add the torn passport as well. I should attach the torn passport. All I need now is to attach the photo. Which one should I go with? Time to take it to Sven. Let's see that article. I 
see. A political protest. It's in the wake of the German regulations, I suppose. Yes. They revoked the German citizenship of thousands of people. Communists, Jewish people, immigrants, opponents of the Nazi regime. Well, that's not exactly what I expected, but Nihel's involvement adds a nice touch of drama. Our readers love stories about heroes. Well done. You're good for today. I should rush to the hospital. Phew. Seems Uli is still here. Great. Is that Caroline? Looks like somebody has a secret. Caroline! Is already gone. What was she getting rid of? I found a tin of pills. Medication. Dr. Zox won't be too happy about that. Enough distractions. It's about time I found Uli. Miss Myers, you made it. Thought you wouldn't show. I got held up at the office, but I'm here now. By the way, Caroline isn't taking her medicine. I saw her outside, throwing her pills away. That girl is a troublemaker. Thanks for the intel. Did you happen to pick the pills up? That's a placebo. Dr. Bruno refused to test the vaccine on Caroline. She wouldn't mind consuming sugar pills, which means she wasn't aware that they were a placebo. I'll talk to her and see what's going on. Good call. Have you seen the lieutenant? No, but there's a constable in the lab. He might be of help. Thank you. Nua, is that you? What are you doing? Miss Myers, I'd say I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Hold on. I'll get you out. It won't open. I'll need something to pry it open with.
I found a scalpel. Thank you, Miss Myers. I didn't think you'd manage it. The important thing is that the lieutenant didn't see it. You're not going to tell the lieutenant, are you? He's always such a disciplinarian. Can't imagine why that would be. Let me guess. Maybe because I have to work with such a burk. Lieutenant! Shut up! <laughs> If it weren't for your father, find Dr. Zax and ask him to come here. Then go to the car and wait for me there. Mm. 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 Get through it! Yes, sir! Do you think I am overreacting? No, no. Noah looks a little distracted and... Troubled. I wanted to say disorganized, but it may be the same in his case. He's certainly curious beyond his capabilities, but don't be too harsh. If you want to fit in, you can't be above criticism. Anyway, did you find anything? I've been rummaging through Dr. Bruner's work files. I've found something that could prove useful for Dirk's glyphology analysis. But I couldn't find any of the vaccine patient's test data. You think this is related to Dr. Bruner's case in some way? It's too early to tell. Fair enough. I think we should check the other lockboxes. Why? Since the scratched one was empty, we could have missed other scratches that Dr. Bruner might have left. You wanted to check the other lockboxes? Wait a second. There's something on the back. Scratches. This one's scratched too. It seems that all of them have scratches. But why would he scratch the backs? This indicates forethought. It doesn't seem like an accident. This was planned. We'll put it all together at the station. I could use an extra pair of hands. Could you find Noah and send him my way? Yeah, sure. Where's that unruly constable? Ernestine, have you seen Constable Noah by any chance? He should be here by now. I've been here for a while, but he hasn't passed through. Hmm. Thank you, Ernestine. I presume he's still looking for Dr. Zox, like Uli ordered. Really, Noah? It was an accident, Miss Myers. I was looking for Dr. Zox, and this thing fell on me out of nowhere. Did it scare you to death? Not funny, Miss Myers. Could you help me put it back together? All right, but let's be quick. Uli is waiting for you at the lab. Now we need to put the organs back in place. I don't see them. I'll finish up here, no problem. Just go meet Uli at the lab. Yes, ma'am. Great, I found a liver. Great, I found a skull. Great, I found a skeleton hand. Our inanimate friend still needs a heart, I believe.
Great, I found a heart. Let's attach everything. Miss Myers, what brings you here? How's the investigation going? I thought it was finished. There have been some new developments. We're still looking into it. While we're on the subject, I was meaning to ask you, have you and Dr. Bruner ever had disagreements while working together? Disagreements? I mean, uh, none that I recall. Do you mind taking a look at this article? Oh, you, you know about this. It's, it's a... Uh, I don't have to tell you that you shouldn't believe everything you read in these things. They always tend to distort the facts. Really? Oh, no, not you, of course. Your articles are the exception. Of course. So you and Dr. Bruner had no issues over this? I had no issue with him. He kept himself to himself. So if he did have an issue with me, he simply never brought it up. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I took a look at your workplace. Just like doctors, we have to be thorough in our work. I uh, don't mind. I have nothing to hide. The same pen set as Dr. Bruner's. Blue ink. Yet all his documents are written in black. The Volunteer Society. Is that some kind of club for bored, rich layabouts? Both you and Dr. Bruner had the same pen set, right? May I see it? Oh, yes. These were gifted to us by the mayor. I've noticed that you usually use black ink, but this pen is blue. I haven't used it for a while. Looks like they got mixed up. Uh, maybe Carl accidentally took my pen. I see. By the way, how is Dr. Bruner's patient? Sorry, I meant to say how is your patient? Caroline, think I could talk to her? She's doing better. She should be well enough to chat. Thank you. Hello, Caroline. And... Manu, I see you've been keeping yourself busy. High risk means high reward. Nice to see you too, Miss Myers. You could always stop your dirty dealings and go to school. <laughs> you don't expect anything like that from him. Exactly. Caroline, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've been trembling in anticipation the entire day. And you are? Anna Myers. I'm... Ah, uh, yes. The journalist with all these investigations. How come all the murderers in your stories are so stupid? She's quite something, huh? Take Gerhard, for instance. Talking so much just to give you a chance to throw a vase at his head. Sounds like you know a thing or two about murders. No, it's just really boring here in the hospital. I don't have anything to do but read. Then maybe you have some thoughts on Dr. Bruner's death, too? There's nothing to think about. It's pretty obvious that Dr. Zax killed him. What makes you say that? Carl was dissatisfied with the vaccine test results and wanted to scrap the project. Dr. Zax wanted to keep it going. Carl would have prevented him from getting the payout for the vaccine. That's a pretty serious accusation. Do you have any evidence to back your claims up? It's your job to find the evidence. And either way, nobody would believe a crippled little girl. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Pass me my crutch, please. I've had enough of this place.
I found a crutch. There it is. Pretend I'm not here. Don't. I've got this. She doesn't look happy relying on others. I don't know. I think she really liked you. Give her some time. When did you become so insightful? You learn more living on the streets than you think. Evidently. Anyway, nice talking to you, but it's time I headed out. Anna, one more thing. I need you to bring me a package from Backstreet. Can't you do that yourself? A broken arm is no reason to keep you in the hospital. I can't be seen around right now. And somebody who owes me one let me stay here. Maybe that friend can get you your package as well. I have to find out whether there's any truth to Caroline's story before Lieutenant Reiter closes the case. And that's why bringing me my package is in your own best interests. How so? First, get me my package. Then I'll make it worth your while. I'll see what I can do. There are a few lockboxes left. We're almost ready to go. Excuse me, boys, but I'll have to catch you later. All right. We'll start putting it all together with Dirk. I'll join you as soon as I can. I don't see anything resembling a package. I hope this doesn't take too long. I found postcards. Children's drawings. How cute. Looks like the local kids miss Manu. This didn't take as much time as I anticipated. I think I can squeeze in a visit to the police station before I head back to Manu. If I'd known I'd have to carry so many boxes, I would have thought twice about becoming a policeman. My back is killing me. I'm sure it'll get better real soon. On a separate note, have you seen Lieutenant Ryder? The Lieutenant is with Dick in the forensics lab. Any luck putting the puzzle together? Well, we've done our best to ensure the order is correct. But we haven't figured out how it relates to the case yet. Is this some kind of chemical formula? It's a structural formula for some kind of organomercury compound. It might relate to their vaccine research. Maybe we should ask Dr. Zax. But it doesn't point to the killer, anyhow. Are you sure that this is a correct drawing? It's the only meaningful thing we managed to get from these boxes. Mind if I take this formula with me? Go ahead. Great. I found a formula. Before I go, could I take a look at the lockboxes myself? Sure. This is everything we found in the laboratory.
Um, is that a dog? Looks like a greyhound. That's pretty bizarre, but it could be significant. Could be a total waste of our time as well. We'll see. I've got a meeting to attend, so I'll see you later. Got the package? If you mean the drawings... Who told you that you could open it? It was torn open when I found it. It seems like those kids really look up to you. There's more to you than I thought. Shut up and hand me my package. Thank you. All right, let's get to work. What? We're not allowed in there. Someone might see us. Relax. Ernestine's still doing her rounds. We've got all the time in the world. Losing your edge, Manu? It's okay to ask for help. Not a chance. All done. Come on. What are we looking for? Patience. Give me a moment. I found a diagnosis. Dr. Bruner had a myocardial infarction. But then why... Ta-da! What am I looking at? Damn it! I saw Ralph messing with his mirror. I was walking down the hallway, and when he noticed me, he quickly put the mirror back into place and was visibly nervous. Let's see what the deal is with that wall. There's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. Sounds like it's hollowed out, right there. Vaccine research documents. This patient died. And this one. And another one. Dear Lord. Three people died testing their vaccine. Dr. Zox doesn't want this information to come out. This could easily cost him his medical license. Caroline told you that he's a bastard. And now you know it for yourself, too. He's not getting away with this. Well, if there is anything else, I'll be staying here for a little longer. Thanks. I'll let you know. Morning, Anna. Car crash at Utiki. I need you there as soon as possible. Anything special about this particular car crash? Some celebrity is involved. We've been through this, Sven. Oira Targus isn't some cheap gossip magazine. What if it's not an accident? Or what if someone died? I can't help it if the victim is a celebrity. So get on it. Okay, okay. Hurry up before the witnesses disperse. Isn't this James Joyce's house? 
He'll be thrilled to find out what happened to his fence once he's back from Paris. The police must have already left, along with the driver, making this the perfect opportunity to investigate, I guess. I found a book. Haha, -ha. what a coincidence. Miss Myers, I can't let you keep that. It's evidence. Hi, Nua. I found this book near the car. Hand it over, please. Of course. Could you tell me about what happened here? We're not certain yet, but chances are the car brakes failed. I have to be on my way. See you around, Miss Myers. Just a couple of photos before I go. All right, let's see what we've got here. I think that's all done. Time to write the article. Now for the photo. Which one should I go with? That'll do. Time to report to Sven. Oh. Come in. 
I'm here to hand in the article. I'm here to review the article. Well, that's a bit bland, don't you think? You could have added a little bit of drama. Are you sure James Joyce wasn't hurt? If he was, it didn't happen here. He's not in Zurich right now. It is what it is, Sven. All right, all right, it'll do. You're good to go. I'd better call Uli and let him know what Manu and I discovered. Lieutenant Leiter? Good morning, Uli. It's Anna. Any developments regarding the case? Yes. A pretty big development, in fact. I've found some documents that could cost Dr. Zox his medical license. Can you bring the files over to the station? I don't have them. We'll need to take them officially from Dr. Zox's office. He has a secret hiding place there. Okay. Meet me at the hospital as soon as possible. I'm on my way. Anna, I can't find Dr. Zax. We can do that later. You should see the evidence first. Where do we start? Behind the mirror. Meanwhile, I'll take a look around one more time. Carbon paper. My God, these bastards know no limits. He's an absolute madman. He can kiss his medical license goodbye, as well as his freedom. I hope so too. He can't be allowed to continue to treat people. Did you find anything else? Several pieces of used carbon paper. This could explain why the death note was written in black ink instead of Dr. Bruner's usual blue. We need the original death note. I have it right here. I couldn't get this weird death note out of my mind. Let's compare them on the table.
Ralph, your methods are amoral and disgusting. Any good intentions you may have can't justify the way you are trying to achieve results. I have no time left and can't continue this way. I think this is the end. There's no need to look into the circumstances. Karl Brunner. This is enough. We need to find Dr. Ralph Sachs right now. I'll check the lab. You take the second floor. Okay. Let's meet up in the office. He's not here. Hmm. There's something fishy about this whole ordeal. I should take one last look around, just to be sure. A bone ore. This surgical bone ore is pretty worn out. It could have been used to make the scratches on the lockbox. I'll have to run this by Dirk. Either way, I should head to meet up with Uli and hopefully Dr. Zox. Lieutenant, look, I understand a man is dead and you've got work to do. But I'm not going to tolerate constant disruption day in and day out. My workload has doubled and I don't have time for this. I've been highly cooperative and helpful, but you've exhausted my patience. You're looking for answers in the wrong places. Are you done? We've uncovered several pieces of evidence. And somehow you're always involved. Of course I'm involved. He was my colleague. Aww. Partner in crime? What? Care to explain yourself? That hiding spot is news to me. It must be Carl's. Yes, uh, nobody else had keys to the office. We'll see about that. Noah, call Dirk over. He'll dust for fingerprints. Unless... Want to save us some time and confess, Doctor? I've got nothing to confess to. Let's try a different angle. Anna, please hand Dr. Zachs the full note. Hand him the note. Poor Dr. Bruner. Poor Dr. Brune. Hand him the note. Where did you get it? You thought you'd gotten rid of it, didn't you? I could tell you recognized the note when we first read it. I was certain there was more to that note. This is pure idiocy. You're just trying to outwit me. Another peculiar detail was Dr. Bruner's pen. But it misled me at the same time. It seemed obvious that he couldn't have written this note. I didn't do it! It must have been her. What? She was the one who found the body, and she had enough time to write this message. It was another nurse who found the body. Ernestine was at home. Then it must have been the other nurse. They were both in on it! Yes! They all hate me and want to get rid of me! That's enough!
Thank you, Uli. As I was saying... The Death Note misled me. It was a copy made with carbon paper, just like this one. Hold on. Why would Dr. Zachs need a copy if he had the original? I had the same question. Furthermore, I found the tool that was used to scratch the lockboxes. Really? This is great news. Let me see it. It's pretty worn. The paint abrasions match the lockboxes. They certainly do. With all this evidence, you'll be behind bars before you know it. Aww. Anna, how could we have missed the all when we first searched the place? We checked every single inch of this storage room. We didn't miss it. It wasn't in the storage room. It was in the lab. It was lying right there on the table, unnoticed. Wait. How is that possible? It doesn't add up. We were so darn close to solving it, and now... Don't jump to conclusions. I propose that we read a certain document first. It'll throw some light on what really happened that night. This is Dr. Bruner's medical diagnosis. Dr. Brunner was experiencing heart problems, so? He had two months, tops. I think Dr. Brunner was planning to surrender himself and Dr. Zox to the police. On that fateful evening, he was drinking coffee in the office. I suppose he had some kind of stroke. It totally changed his plans with the police. To begin with, I didn't pay attention to it. But some of the coffee got spilled and left as it was. He was forced to act quickly. Hmm. Going against all his morals as a doctor, he decided to choose when he would die, and to use this opportunity to stop his old friend once and for all. It was pretty easy to come up with a plan. The biggest problem was creating evidence that would point to an imaginary killer. He couldn't just write a death note with the name of the killer. If Dr. Zox were to find it first, he could just destroy the evidence. The plan was very risky, but I guess he thought he didn't have any other choice. If it weren't for the mistake with the all, I suppose that would be enough for a jury to hand out a life sentence. So, I'm off the hook? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Myers. You damn murderous. I wasn't doing it for you. Get up. You're still going to rot in jail for all your mad experiments on poor kids. Dr. Ravzaks, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> 